Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The smoke of the trade war has never really dissipated, it's just a different battlefield. This time, the focus is on chips, and the game between China and the United States in the semiconductor field is moving from behind the scenes to the front stage. The most interesting thing is that while the United States is implementing a chip blockade on China, it finds that its own chip products are not doing so well in the Chinese market. Recently, China officially launched an anti-dumping investigation on related chips imported from the United States, which is tantamount to playing a beautiful move on the chessboard. Some people have begun to ask whether American chips will completely lose the Chinese market. Which other countries can't help, but stand in line and express their opinions? Why is this the case? Speaking of chip disputes, we have to start with the United States export control. In recent years, the United States has been stuck with China's core technologies, such as high-end chips and lithography machines, fearing that once China breaks through technology, it will completely leave it behind in the high-tech field. In order to restrict China, the United States not only did it itself, but also pulled in a group of allies, such as the Netherlands, South Korea, and Japan, asking them to cooperate in blocking China's chip industry. ASML in the Netherlands is the most typical example. As the only company in the world that can provide top-notch lithography machines, ASML was pressured by the United States and had to stop exporting the most advanced EUV lithography machines to China. For ASML, this is tantamount to breaking a thigh, after all, the Chinese market is an important source of income for it. Although the United States calculations are loud, the actual effect is not satisfactory. China's resilience and self-breakthrough ability in the chip field have exceeded many people's expectations. From the rise of domestic chips to the gradual breakthrough of lithography machine technology, China has proved with actions that blockade will only stimulate greater innovation. At the same time, the Chinese market still has strong demand for chips, especially mature process chips, that is, chips with relatively backward technology, which still have huge market potential in the fields of automobiles and home appliances. Some chip companies in the United States have seen this and still export mature process chips to China through various channels to seize market share. The problem lies here. After these American chips entered the Chinese market, the price was very low, even lower than the cost price. This not only puts China's local chip companies in a difficult situation, but also makes people wonder whether American companies are engaging in unfair competition through subsidies and other means. Some Chinese companies and industry associations have begun to call for anti-dumping and anti-subsidy investigations on American chips to see if there are any problems behind these products. Recently, the Ministry of Commerce of China officially announced that it would investigate relevant chip products imported from the United States. This decision undoubtedly poured cold water on the United States. You want to block China? Okay then let's see if your chips can continue to win in the Chinese market. The matter is not over yet. Just after China announced the launch of the investigation, the Netherlands, which has always followed the United States, suddenly made of magic operation. The Dutch government recently stated that it will no longer disclose specific information about ASML's exports to China in the future, citing the reason of protecting commercial secrets. This is a high-sounding statement, but everyone understands that the Netherlands is turning a blind eye to ASML's continued exports to China. ASML has long been dissatisfied with the US chip ban and has even threatened to move its factory out of the Netherlands. If the Netherlands continues to confront the Chinese market, it will lose its own economic interests. What's more interesting, is that the Netherlands statement came just after China launched an anti-dumping investigation on American chips. China's counterattack against the United States is not only aimed at the United States, but also a reminder to other countries. Judging from the current situation,
the chip game between China and the United States has entered the stage of fighting blood. The United States wants to strangle China's throat by blocking high-end technology, but China did not choose to sit and wait for death, but fought back with practical actions. This anti-dumping investigation against American chips is a signal that China must not only achieve breakthroughs in technology, but also safeguard its own interests in market rules. China's choice can be said to kill many birds with one stone. This anti-dumping investigation will help protect domestic chip companies, especially in the field of mature process chips. The low-price dumping behavior of American companies, although beneficial to consumers in the short term, will make local companies lose competitiveness in the long run. Through the investigation, if the unfair competition behavior of American companies is confirmed, then China can take measures according to law, such as raising tariffs or setting quotas, so as to gain more market space for local companies. This counterattack also made other countries see a fact that following the United States to make trouble may not necessarily have good results. The statement of the Dutch government is an obvious example. Although ASML is restricted by the United States, it is highly dependent on the Chinese market. If the Netherlands blindly follows the US's instructions, it will only hurt its own economy in the end. In contrast, the openness and resilience of the Chinese market will undoubtedly make more countries re-examine their policies toward China. More importantly, this anti-dumping investigation may also have a profound impact on the United States itself. Although American chip companies are technologically advanced, they are not willing to give up the huge Chinese market. If the US government continues to impose stricter export controls on China, these companies will only have a harder time. Losing the Chinese market not only means huge revenue losses, but may also lead to a decline in technology investment and R&D capabilities across the industry. The chip war is a game of technology and market on the surface, but behind it is a strategic contest between major powers. The United States wants to suppress China's rise through high-tech blockades, but China will obviously not give in easily. Through this anti-dumping investigation, China not only defended the interests of local companies, but also took the initiative in rules. Some people say that Europe's attitude is quietly changing. The Netherlands' face changing is just the beginning. In the future, more countries may choose to find a balance between China and the United States instead of standing with the United States. For China, the key is to continue to maintain resilience and make greater breakthroughs in technological innovation and market opening. In any case, this chip war has just begun. China's counterattack has worked, and every move on the chessboard will be more exciting. Some people say that the real winners are always those who can grasp the rules.